the people on the phone are nice and they keep calling and they're talking and it's somebody to talk to. And before you know it, money's going out the door. And the reason that money is going out the door is because those callers were scammers. Scams and how to avoid them was the topic of the day when District Attorney Marion Ryan recently visited the Burlington Senior Center to give a talk on the subject. She wanted to help the vulnerable population of seniors avoid so, becoming victims and had a couple of key points to touch upon. One is to make people aware of some of the scams and kind of deceptive practices that we're seeing so they protect themselves and also my hope is always that people will spread the word to others. She also spoke about the impact of seniors living by themselves. The second piece is really a bigger focus we have now which is on loneliness um, and how many people folks may know who, you know, maybe they live in your neighborhood, you knew them from somewhere else and they've really gotten very disconnected. And that being disconnected, first of all, has some health consequences. It also makes you more vulnerable to being tricked into some of these scams. So we're hoping it will prompt people to reach out maybe to folks they haven't seen for a bit or they know have had maybe some health issues or had a loss in their family and have withdrawn from other things and get them a little bit more connected. Scammers are successful, DA Ryan said, because they train themselves to be good at exploiting others. You know, the people who are doing the scams are good at what they do. They're good at getting people to talk to them on the phone, to, to be concerned about their, quote, problem that they claim they need money for. And they really tend to get people kind of in a web of being caught up with them and supporting them. Scammers also use technology, some of which may be unfamiliar to some seniors, to help with their deception. I think some, you know, we've seen obviously a lot of issues where somebody gets an email, they, again, because the scammers are good, it looks very much like it's a real email. You think you recognize the address, you think it's from your bank or whatever it is, and they're asking for something and you feel like, well, it's from my bank, it's from my credit card company, I'm going to respond and do that. Um, and what we want people to be reminded of is, if you opened an account at the bank, the bank isn't ever going to call you and say, what's your account number? You know, if you get that kind of a request and you're worried that you need to give it, make a phone call to the institution that's asking you for you. And find out, in, you know, the vast majority of times, they never sent you that email that you're going to respond to. Finally, DA Ryan says that anyone who thinks someone has been trying to scam them should report it as more information about what kinds of scams are out there can help protect everybody. We really want people to report it to somebody at the senior center or the police department so that we can get the word out. You know, a lot of times the way we prevent these things is either something like cable TV is good enough to put out for us, this kind of a scam is going around, be careful, we get the local papers to put it out there so that hopefully somebody reads that, when they get that call they think, oh I just read about that, that's a scam. From the Burlington Senior Center, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford.